250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind, control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. One is me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you can please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So I just got through reading our dear brother Philip Scott's book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind. And I will say right off the top, I really love this book. Not that anybody's asking me. But I really loved that it was easy to read. The words, you know, are big enough to read instead of a little small print. And the steps are very easy to follow. I feel like it's something that I can do, very achievable. But the one chapter that I loved the most was Re-Education into Truth because it talked about us, for one, you know, decolonizing our mind, but reintroducing new information into our minds so that we can learn differently of what we've been taught by the colonizers, right? And I don't care where you are in your wokeness, we all, and I say we all, need to be decolonized because there are some aspects and areas in our life that we still think like the colonizer, right? But as I said in that particular chapter, it teaches us that we need to read more books, look at videos and listen to podcasts and just a whole host of other things that really opens our mind and cleanses it of the things we've been taught. But yes, like I said, this is an excellent book. Um, and I felt like I could do these things, you know, and I'm already doing those things, but it just was like more of a reinforcement for me. Uh, to basically tune up on the things that I've already been doing, but it was a reminder that, yeah, you know what? You always need to work to decolonize your mind. And so I love the concept, and I know you'll love it too. Pick it up on Amazon.com. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. 250 years of slavery. 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind, control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. Hello 
everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.